I feel like it's our parents or our people who have this misconception. Yeah, and even if they, I mean, fine, I stand to be corrected, but mm -hmm. most of the times you have a lot of mental health patients, especially mm -hmm. from our community, who mm -hmm. think they're not being understood by their GPs. You know, that, 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 happens, well. that happens. I, I also relate to that. And the, con the, the concepts amongst us that just deal with it. Mm -hmm. What are yeah. you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Just get on with it. Mm -hmm. Everybody falls. Mm -hmm. Everybody makes mistakes. Mm -hmm. Everybody faces this rejection. Just get on. Mm -hmm. You know, I know I'm speaking like an English accent, but I'm actually talking how the Africans deal with mm -hmm. each other yeah. who are struggling instead of compassion and care. And um, with the health professionals, it's so sometimes it's dicey because culture does play a big part. And mm -hmm. if you, you as an African person or a Af person of African descent, and then you're given someone who's very Eurocentric mm. in her training and in her understanding. Mm. She's not. She's not. How can she? She doesn't have the tool set okay. to understand your culture, your mm -hmm. background, mm -hmm. what means what in your, where you're coming from, mm -hmm. who you are. Mm -hmm. So it's always good that it's tailor-made to you, but there's okay. too many gaps in, in this system we are okay. in right now. Yeah. So then what would you, you know, what do you want to share, you know, in terms of the gaps? Do you, do you think we should have our own people you know, going into mental health, you know, um, education, where they can... 100%. Okay. Especially if you, at any point, have faced, maybe it was grief, bereavement, mm -hmm. maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. There's so many different kind of mental illnesses, mm -hmm. depression, even post-natal depression. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, if you have faced it, and you have bossed it, and you've survived mm -hmm. it, how about becoming an ambassador for mental health awareness? Mm -hmm. Creating little leaflets or little posts Post-its or how do you know posts? How do you say the things you put on Facebook? Um, posts, yeah, yeah, posts, yeah, yeah, post, yeah. Updates, articles. Start educating people. Let's just begin to look out for those around us who might be so close to us yet they're suffering. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you wake up, the other person committed suicide, and be like, "Wow, he looks so normal." Because I think we don't you know, actually understand because the things that goes on in the mind, yeah, it's not something that you can feel or you know express and express it unless you talk about it unless you no know, like you share you know your experience and then you share with might tell you shush don't talk like that you're going mm -hmm. to embarrass the family what do yeah. you mean that your yeah. phone could rape you and then now you're, you're, you, you can't you can't you can't be with a man what are you talking about keep this thing in don't bring it out you know they yeah. hush they shame they blame they don't need that yeah they're crying for help yeah okay so I would say that um what is your, you know, through, through, you know, there's your journey, this painful journey, mm. this shameful journey, mm. but sometimes when you're not understood in the minds of people who, whose daughter is this, <laughs> whose son is this, whose, whose wife is this, you understand I know, what I, I mean? know, yes. Through it all, what has been your sense of purpose, mm. you know, to... Um, so push you or mm -hmm. just engage you on to do what you're doing what's your sense of purpose the first thing that really really helps me stay grounded is understanding okay. occasionally those uncles and aunties voices still pop up in my head you know those mm -hmm. so you're doing something you're like ha she do it you're walking set because that's something your father said to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you make a mistake like wow well, you be doing this set? and no one is saying it to you anymore because mm -hmm. all these people they've gone mm -hmm. to be honest for me I feel like there's so much dry around, ground around us, mm -hmm. but you need to get out of the pool and leave the water alone. Mm -hmm. Don't stay there and say, oh, life is so crap, I'm drowning. There is dry land around you. Leave the water alone. I literally woke up with that inspiration this morning. It just came like words and I saw it. There's so much dry, dry ground mm -hmm. around you. Is it terra firma? There's, you know, firm, yeah. firm ground around you leave the water alone so i am still working on my self narration every mm -hmm. single day i say esther who are you Good. you're the daughter of god i square my shoulders i put on my best clothes and i strut my stuff down That's straight my up my head head high <laughs> hell's <my> high <laughs> <laughs> you know and it's a constant journey it's mm -hmm. a constant journey so for you what have you done to improve your mental health mm -hmm. on your own you know not relying you know on the medical health professionals on your own, what have you done to improve your own mental health? I learned to soothe myself. Okay. I learned to love myself. I learned to do those things that make me feel alive. So I'm so full of those things mm -hmm. and I'm focusing on those things. And it's, it's a journey. And I'm still progressing. You see me very bold, but guess what? When I pray, I pray for boldness. Wow. 
They say courage is not the absence of fear. It's acting in spite of your fear. That's what makes you courageous. So I want to be someone who... No, oh, I like that quote. Thank that's you. So, that's, that's so powerful. <laughs> Thank that's you. So powerful. Yeah. Someone who doesn't look at the challenge in front of me like it's going to kill me, but look at it like, I'm going to boss you and I'm going to share my story. So, I'm um, yeah. So for, you know, our present parenting, or like parents now, yeah. what kind of advice or... How do you want us to raise our children that can be so mentally resilient mm. to this environmental pressures that our children face, you know, on a daily basis? What do you want to tell parents out there? This one is very, very hard. And for so many parents, it might be strange. But you need to allow your children. Mm -hmm. They say face your fears and watch them disappear. Mm. The reason we have so many wimpy adults because we've been sheltered from everything. Mm -hmm. You make a mistake, your parents have to go to the school and beg the teacher, say, don't let my child fail. Why don't you let that child fail? Repeat that class. Mm -hmm. And then we learn some responsibility in the process. Okay. Every person who is an adult here was once a child. Mm -hmm. And if you had had some firm, disciplined parenting, I'm not saying to be so wicked and say, I don't care, you face the music. No, but you say, yeah. This is what you've done. This is the choice you've made. This is the decision you've made. Mm -hmm. I'll be here to help you with it. I mean, to mm -hmm. support you through it. But you've got to face it. Face wow. your fears and watch them disappear. Children will, they're like a blank canvas. The world will try to imprint on them. Mm -hmm. You are trying to imprint on them what your parents imprinted on you. But remember, they also have their own song. They also have their own voice. So we must allow them. Allow them to, to, to be who they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Socrates, Picasso's. You know, the, uh, this culture and all these things society expects of us really makes so many of us be monsters. While yeah. on the outside we, we appear okay, but inside we're mm -hmm. so embarrassed, we're so frightful, like little children who are so afraid. And it's really despicable, it's really, really sad. So mm -hmm. let us, first of all, allow ourselves some breathing space to really be yourself. If you want to be an artist, you want to be Lady Gaga, be that who you are. People will hate you for it, people will love you for it. Mm -hmm. But it's not about the people, it's about you. The, song, the bird is not singing because because he's going to win the Grammy. The bird is singing because the bird wants to sing. Sure. It's a songbird sure. and that's what it does. So let's just do that. That's what I'm going to share. Mm. And the last thing that I want to also add as well, I know we're going to wrap up soon, is yeah. I read about a guy called Van Gogh. Mm. He made about 900 paintings, correct me if I'm wrong, and it took about 10 years. In his lifetime, he only sold one painting and he wow. ended up killing himself. He died. He just took his own life. I don't know why he did that. He was working for a church. So he was in a place where maybe he could have gotten yeah. help. And today everybody reads about Van Gogh in schools. But do they know that it can be very lonely when you have people around you, but they don't actually see you. They want you to conform to what mm. they expect people mm -hmm. your age or people your race to behave like. And because you're different, it means that you're actually brilliant. You're actually mm -hmm. a genius like mm. Einstein. They laughed at Einstein. They said he's an artist. Today, everybody, no, there's no one on earth, well, except the younger ones, whom I don't know, Einstein. Mm -hmm. But he received a lot of ridicule because he was different. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say to you, own it. You're not supposed to be like anyone else. Mm -hmm. why, why have a clone when you can be a masterpiece? Why be a fake when you can be an original? Yeah. You know, Van Gogh, unfortunately, took his own life mm -hmm. because he wasn't appreciated, in my own opinion. And so, yes, people are different from you. Try and appreciate them. Parents, that's for you. Your children will not all be the same. They will not always sound like you. You look at them and say, did I actually give birth to this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it happens all the time. It happens all the time. So, you know, in the, in the, in the nutshell, yeah. you know, I would say you've already advised our parents, but then I would want you to advise or encourage and also share with us some of the signs that we should actually look out for, mm. you know, in people with mental health. Mm. In trying to encourage and also to 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 admonish people, mm. we want you also to help us know the kind of signs that we should actually look out for. Mm. You know, um, especially with children and also you know with adults as well. What are some of the signs that we should actually look out mm. for? If you don't mind, I'm mm. going to twist that on his head. Okay. Because what you're looking out for, you're going to find. And if I start telling you, oh, people who are doing like this, doing like that, they need help. You know, you guys, you can see that even yourself, you need help. I know. <laughs> it's going to be so crazy. There's something called reticular activation mm. system. When I mm. tell you about a black jaguar 
oh, I love black jaguars. All of a sudden, you go on the streets and that's all you're going to see. Mm. Everywhere, it's like all the black jaguars.